what you're looking at here is a very early prototype of the Blox modular smartwatch. And you'll have probably read quite a lot about this already. It's an extremely exciting project that's going that's on going with Kickstarter at the moment and is ready to be fully launched next year. So we're going to have a quick look at how the project is progressing now. So let's have a look at the operating system and how it's working on the screen at the moment. Sure. Um, so basically this is the engineering prototype. This is to show the software, how the modularity works on the on the software and hardware level. Mm -hmm. We have design prototypes to show us how the connectors work and how the design is and aesthetics works. So this is the home screen, just showing the time. You can now go to the screen. So it's a long press on the screen to open up the menu. Yeah. Then you can go to the different uh, apps, this is the menu. What we have is the design language here. The modules are connected in a modular array and hence our apps are connected like that. There's a small line going through the different apps. And this runs uh, your own custom version of a spin-off of Android. Uh, yeah, so it's based on uh, full Android. <laughs> so basically this is the notification tray and okay. then you can see your different notifications. And you're going to have that uh, font adjustable in yeah. size so it doesn't have to be so small. small. Yeah, exactly. So you can basically, based on what you want, to increase the font, the font size. And then you can go through the different apps. So for example, now I can just go to the battery management app and it's showing that we have 27% charge in our core. And, and that's the center, that's the main body of the watch. Yeah, that's which is 400 milliamp hours is. of battery. Yeah. And then you've got at the sides, different little modules which would correspond to uh, battery sections attached to exactly. the Exactly, yeah. So you can put the batteries anywhere in the chain or any of the modules anywhere in the chain, they can be at any level of battery charge. And then basically you connect them to it and then you can just increase the level of charge on your on your watch. That's fantastic. And then it's swiping the notifications away, just like regular Android Wear. Yeah. But on the home screen, you're gonna be doing, addressing notifications slightly differently yeah. to Android so Wear. So what we, will, we might have is this kind of small bubbles that will appear on the phone uh, on the home screen which are your notifications so like if you have received emails or messages text messages they're gonna bundle in small bubbles around the screen and then when you move your finger around it on the screen they will just kind of zoom a bit and if you click it it will become full screen that notification you will see it and then you get rid of it right so it's it's avoiding that long list of notifications that we have on android where now exactly but you will have the notification apps in case you want to go through your previous notification in case you were in a meeting just get rid of them and you want now go back to one of them you have the notification to go through them but then if you want us to just see them in a the glass they will just appear on the phone on the right. home screen okay so this is your early engineering prototype yeah when can we expect to see the next prototype of this so we are very lucky that we've been working for our with our manufacturer which is one of the top five manufacturers in the world for for the past eight months and they are they are started making the product this is the prototype for ourselves to test our protocols and software they have they're making the actual product uh, so we were having one phase ready at the end of, end of December. We were going to have it for CES, another version ready for Mobile World Congress end of February, and another two versions. After four versions of product uh, development, we are going to be able to ship the final version uh, by May. Excellent. Very exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been Andy for Digital Trends.